Hey, I'm Lauren Hibbard on my first US tour. I'm on the Sound of Letting Go tour with All Time Low, Gym Class Heroes and Grayscale. And this is my van. I'm just kidding with you. I got a bus. Let's go on it. Ta-da! Okay, so as you'll see here, this is where I go every day. Um, so this is where I hang out all the time. This is, um, this is where I... This is this is, I think, no, this is where uh, I, this is my bus. This is my TV. I've never seen you. Mm. I think you might be in the wrong bus. I don't. I don't. I think you might have. I'm, I'm. Are you on this? Are you on the top? This is where we live. Yeah. Um, okay. You left this. Though. Honest mistake. I you left, left that on here. Yeah. Great. Okay. Oh. Come back anytime, but this is you know. Okay. This is wrong, right, pla guys. wrong place. Wrong place. Wrong time. Get out. Alright, thanks. You guys. can't. You, you don't have to go home. You can't stay here. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Bye. Hi, yeah, it's not my bus. Um, this is my bus. <laughs> so that may have not been my bus, but I'm for sure keeping this. So thanks, gym class. Um, I'm just gonna live in this little cup holder from now on. I'm gonna call him Derek. I think he looks like a Derek. Um, okay, so this is the first time I've ever sat in this chair because I do not drive this van. I could not be trusted in England as an English person to drive, let alone on the wrong side of the road. Do you know what I mean? It wouldn't be good, would not be good for anyone. So my TM James, he sits up top pretty much all the time. He's in this seat. He sometimes switches with my drummer JP who sits here for majority of the time. Um, but JP's not as good of a driver, but we won't, we won't tell him I said that. Um, so up top is, I say is where most of the music gets chosen. This is like the hot seat for what we're listening to in the van. Um, but we also have a very special visitor that lives at the top of the van, and this is our band mascot. His name is Acorn, the Acorn. <laughs> and we found him one day, and we gave him a little face and a little personality, and this is his first time touring America, like us. Um, so he's very excited. We get He looks after the van when we're not in it as well. So he's good to have around, so we like it. So entertainment wise, I guess it kind of depends who's in charge of the music. So you can connect whether you're sat in the back or here. So if it's me, it's the new Olivia Rodrigo album because I am obsessed because it's so good. But I think everyone's tiring of me wanting to listen to it now, which is not good for me. So I'm going to have to change up my game. Recently, we've discovered that we all love the 1975 and we did not know that about each other. Um, so we put Love Me on the other day and we all knew every single word and it was like, whoa, why have we not done this before? So we've been doing a lot of the 1975. We've been actually listening to, because I've just finished my second record, I've been playing New Masters to the band and everyone. So we've been listening to that a little bit. We've been listening to a lot of bands on this tour because we've made good friends with everyone and we love them. So we've been blasting All Time Low, Gym Class Heroes and Grayscale. Um, JP, when JP the drummer drives, he likes to listen to Pine Grove to get him in the zone. Um, we haven't really done any podcasts, but we do quizzes. We do like which member of Little Mix are you? What you know? What member of One Direction are you? If you were a pizza, what pizza would you be? Really like pointless quizzes, you know? Like what's your favourite cheese? Mozzarella? Oh, yeah, you're a margarita, and you just it makes no sense. But that's how we pass the time. We also sometimes it's a bit cringe and cliche but we do play so this is my favorite us find so far because i'm the clumsiest girl on planet earth i drop everything down me so this little magic stick just like erases all of the stains it's called tied to go you probably already know about it but i'm very excited and i'm going to take a suitcase home i think i love them you'll always find coca-cola around there's one in there one in here this is basically crack to my tm james he lives on it he needs it to survive he doesn't like water he drinks coke morning noon and night so that's his vibe these are his driving sunglasses he has this position where he just kind of I can't put them on over my hat, but he always has like one hand up here and it's really cute. And up here is his like his office where all of our I don't even know what any of that is. Receipts, carnets, his this his job. I don't know. I don't I'm not meant to understand it, so he does something. Alright, let's go and sit where the fun happens. Ta -da! Okay, welcome to my row. So I get a full row 
because there's only four of us. We have very minimal crew. So it's literally just my tour manager, James, my drummer, JP, my guitarist, Jess, and me. So there's the four of us. So me and Jess get a row each because we're passenger princesses. <laughs> this is my emotional support turtle. He does not have a name. I'm not that creative. Um, my mum bought him for me before this tour. I think he's really cute. Um, there's always little things dotted around, little guitar picks that I've left behind, which is cute. Um, I bagged this row because it's the only row with a cup holder and I'm a fan of fun drinks so there'll always be a little iced drink in there for me. So we had a little bit of a bit of an accident um, early doors on this tour. Um, we've had we've all had a round of um, suspicious stomach problems. <laughs> it's our first time in the States everyone. Do you know what I mean? You have to give it to us. So um, <laughs> we've kind of taken it in turns to have bad stomach. I actually have IBS, so these are just daily practice in my life. But yeah, we got them from, where did we get them? Target, I think. They're great, they're great. Would highly recommend, good for value, fits everyone. So they, they stay firmly under here, out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> so every, me and Jess both have neck pillows. We, we believe in them to sleep, I think. If you're, if you're trying to sleep in the van, this is kind of like the only way I can, because there's nowhere else really for me to go. Except that is a lie, because I sometimes do just lie, like sprawled out, like this. Yeah. We've got one of my t-shirts hanging around. We were finding that they were getting really creased up in the suitcases, so we hang them over the, the back seat to, for the ones for display. This is a specific t-shirt for the all-time low tour. It says, it's like a little receipt to say thanks for coming to the show, which is cute and fun. We've been selling a bunch of these on tour, so we love them. Um, it's probably not a good idea we keep it in here because someone's bound to spill something on it very, very soon. Okay, and this is Jess's row. She, her main job in the van is snack handling, snack and drink handling. So we stole a bin from the venue on day one, which is what we always do for food storage because that's sanitary um, so we recently had to cross the border to Canada so we had to get rid of a load of our stuff this was looking really good before um, but right now we've kind of just got strawberries pretzels this is our drink of choice we get a bottle of this tonight on the rider it's called Disserono it's kind of like amaretto it tastes kind of like licorice it's really sweet you have it with coke and this is our jam this is literally our band in two things um, this is how we have fun every day of our lives. It's not good for our livers or our minds or our tummies, but we, we persist to having a good time. So there's waters under the seat as well. We take rider waters with us every day. So if anyone's ever thirsty, hungry, we go, Jess, and she's like, what can I get for you? <laughs> she very much takes con control of all the snacks and drinks. She'll let us know if we've had too many pretzels or if we're running low and need to restock, which we absolutely do today because it's not looking good. I don't think anyone's ever sat here. This is very much a chair for like our rucksacks, things that we just don't want around us. This is Jess's neck pillow. Hers has a hood, which is actually sick. <laughs> I'm very envious of it because she looks so comfy. And I think it's supposed to like go over your eyes. So you have like the best night's sleep of your life. Um, she doesn't snore, which is amazing. I do which I feel really guilty for because in a situation like this you don't want to be keeping everyone up but I can't help it and I don't know what to do about it the minute I lie straight on my back I'm like <sighs> it's awful and everyone moans at me when I wake up but I can't help it I feel bad but yeah I'm a snorer it's out in the world I'm sorry about it um I think that's pretty much it for this back row this is a cushion from my lounge at home I don't know why but I always bring a little tiny cushion because you just never know when you're gonna need to put your head against the glass window for eight hours okay so this is the back of the van as you'll see Charlie McCoy has done a lovely little little portrait for us today the sound of letting go tour so cute he's turning it on a bit of Grace Girls bad work as well it's so sick you just can't help it he's a creative ladies and gentlemen he's a creative okay let's get in the van so most of the stuff is not in here right now it's in the venue but let me show you a little bit of DIY we've been working on so this ladies and gentlemen is a fitted sheet cut up and duct taped to the windows 
for security purposes. <laughs> As you can see, we've done an exceptional job of keeping that together. Just to stop people, you know, knowing what's going on in here. Um, so this is all of our suitcases. I have about three, which I know is not okay. I know that. But what can I do about it? I've got like a stage case, a normal case, a case full of laundry, a case full of merch. It's all going on. Um, top secret, I've never ever loaded this van. I've never taken anything in or out of it because I disappear in moments where they need me most. I'll be somewhere else then because I'm not good at it. I'm not good at the loading or the loadout. So loadout is normally JP, Jess and my TM James. They're all amazing. So after the show, I'll run off and try and get the sweat off my face and I don't know, go on Instagram or something. It sounds awful, but it is true. Um, and those guys will load up the van. Um, I will actually, that is a lot, I will help get things out when we get to the venue, but maybe like two things max, just like a little, just so I can say I've been there and part of the process <laughs> until I find the dressing room and I'm like, right guys, everything okay? I'm off. <laughs> well, it sounds awful. Um, so yeah, this is where everything goes. We're sharing a drum kit on this tour, so luckily we don't need that for space, but we've got obviously our playback rig, our track unit, we've got loads of guitars and everything else like that, and that all fits perfectly in a lovely little stack up top, and then we put a, like a big black sheet over it, which was there, just to keep it all tucked up in bed for the night. And yeah, this is our little van. This is our hookup. We love her. She served us well so far. So I've had a new single come out this week. It's called I Suck at Grieving. I would love you to go and listen to it. Um, my second album is due out next year early and I'm really, really excited about it. So please keep an eye out. I'm from the UK, but I have plans to come back and do my own tour in the US very, very soon. You can head to my website, laurenhibbard.com or you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, all of those stuff. Just using my name, Lauren Hibbard. Lauren is spelt with an A and not an E. My dad spelled it wrong on the birth certificate, which is in fact true. Um, haunted me to this day, but it's all good. <laughs>